calculate the number of atoms in a compound. And this is going to be really important um, for when we actually get to kind of the heart of stoichiometry, as you remember. We need to be able to look at how many atoms are in a specific compound. So if we look at BACL2 in this example, you see two types of numbers. One, you see the coefficient, and two, you see the small subscripts. And don't forget that if we don't see a subscript after a compound, we're going to assume it is one. Now, this is a compound. The compound is BACL2. And we wanna figure out how many atoms of Ba are in this compound and how many atoms of Cl are in this compound. We do that by taking the coefficient and we multiply it by the subscript. So if we look at the coefficient for this entire compound, it's two. So if we multiply that coefficient times the subscript for Ba, two times one, we know there are two atoms of Ba. If we take this coefficient and we multiply it by the subscript of two that we see on Cl, we get two times two, which is a total of four Cl atoms and two Ba atoms in this compound. Now, if we look at the next compound in this equation, we see a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit more complicated. We see that we have these parentheses around this SO4. So let's figure out first that we know there are three different types of elements in this compound. We have Na, or sodium, S for sulfur, and O for oxygen. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is whenever we see the parentheses and a subscript outside that parentheses, which is 2, we want to distribute that subscript into both elements in the parentheses. So we see that this 2 multiplied by that 4 is going to give us 8, and that 2 multiplied by that 1 is going to give us 2 for sulfur. However, we also have to remember that there's a coefficient of 2 in front of this entire compound, which applies to every element that we see, including the ones in the parentheses. So we're going to take this 2, the coefficient, and multiply it by our new subscript of 2 for sulfur to get a total of four sulfur atoms. And we want to take the coefficient of two and multiply it by our subscript of eight to get 16 total oxygen atoms. And then lastly for Na, we want to take this two coefficient and multiply it by the subscript of two that is currently on Na, and 2 times 2 would give us 4 sodium atoms. So once again, in this entire compound, we have 4 sodium atoms because of the coefficient times the subscript. We have 4 sulfur atoms because we took the 2 and multiplied it to the sulfur and used the coefficient of 2 to get four. And then lastly for oxygen we have 16 total atoms because two times four is eight and eight times two would give us 16. So if we move over here we're gonna see that on the reproduct side, excuse me, on the right side in this compound, we have two elements, sodium and chlorine. And if we zoom in here, we see that there are no subscripts. So we can assume that the subscript on Na is 1 and on Cl is 1. And if we take that coefficient and multiply it,
by both of these subscripts, anything times 1 is itself. So 4 times 1 would give us 4 sodium atoms, and 4 times 1 for Cl would give us 4 Cl atoms. And then we'll quickly finish up with this last practice review over here. And we have 2BaSO4. And what can we assume is going to be the subscript after B for barium? Yes, 1. So we have three elements in this compound. We have Ba, we have sulfur, and oxygen. Now if we take this 2 times the 1 coefficient times the subscript, we'll get the fact that there are 2 Ba atoms. If we take this coefficient of 2 and multiply it by our subscript of 1 for sulfur, we'll get that we have 2 sulfur atoms. And then lastly, we'll take this coefficient of 2 and multiply it by the subscript of 4 for oxygen to get a total of 8 oxygen atoms. So in this individual example, we have a compound called barium bicarbonate. And the question is asking you to determine how many of each element or how many atoms of each element are there. So take as much time as you need to pause the video and determine these four values for barium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. So for barium, we see that we have the subscript of 1 and the coefficient of 3, which would give us a total of 3 barium atoms. For hydrogen, we take our subscript outside the parentheses of 2, and multiply it by the coefficient of 3. So if we do 3 times 2, that would give us 6. If we then take our carbon, our coefficient of 2, excuse me, our subscript of 2, and multiply it by our coefficient of 3, Again, 3 for our coefficients and 2 for our subscript would give us a total of 6. And then lastly, we take this subscript of 2, multiply it by the current subscript to get 6. But then we also need to multiply that by the overall coefficient of 3, which would give us 18 total atoms of oxygen.